have a guest right here in the studio with us okay so before you meet our guest let me just do a brief reading about him okay his name is Aslam Palmer from Aqua Ibom State grew up in Lagos Iju studied international relations in Morid Polytechnic Aqua Ibom State was born on the 29th of January and his stage name is Mickey Turner he's an artist a music artist and a songwriter Hi, Nikki Turner. Hello. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I really appreciate it. And it's a great opportunity to have me in Galaxy TV. Like, way back then, growing up as a child. Now, seeing myself in Galaxy TV. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. The new beginning, or I'm just in the new beginning, yeah. This is, this is a start. Yeah, start yeah. Okay. All right. So now we're going to drill you a little bit, though. I hope you're ready. Mm -hmm. Let me go. <laughs> okay. So um, what you need to do is introduce yourself properly, then um, take us back when you started music. From the beginning. From the beginning. Yes. Okay. Um, basically, I came from the family of two. That's from my mother my dad got married to two wives wow you know, they separated though my mother was the first i came from the family of two from my mother i was the last from so my basically dad. a polydamous family yeah all right from my dad um the second I'm, I'm the second from my mom and the last from my dad and the oh okay second, out of six children wow so growing up with a separated family gave me this exposure and wanting to know more about life in particular mm. it really exposed me and having my elder brother by me made me experience a lot of things and made me believe in myself more because i feel in this in the in the race of life there must be somebody there to guide you sure. indirectly or not there must be a way someone is trying to put you on track Mm. That's what I believe in, and he has been there for me. He's even part of my music. He's an instrumentalist, the one that played the sax. Wow. From my sax. So I've been moving all along. Growing up, I I was not into music. I don't even know how to cram people lyrics. Mm. I don't know how to cram people lyrics. So I just love music because he does it. Mm. Growing up, he is an instrumentalist. He plays instruments without learning them, like a gift. Play sax, mm -hmm. keyboard, bass. So I was like, God, where will my talents come? So it was like a dream that will never come true. Wow. It got up to, um, that was last year, last year, September. I went to see a friend, so I never knew I had a studio. I never knew I had a studio. So I was down, I just had to pour my emotions on the beat I had. Then from there, everybody was like, Wow, guy, you're good, you're good. Mm -hmm. What's that? Don't keep this. I was like, nah, it's just normal vibe. Let's just do our thing. Just, I'm just feeling down. So they told me, no, 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 no. You need to put the work in this. I actually did not believe in myself, honestly. Mm -hmm. I actually did not believe that music was my thing because my brother cannot be doing music and I will be doing music. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't go in the same way. And I had this passion to study the law, though I could not. Okay. I had this passion to study the law, but I could not. I just we made my way out to try and get a legal studies certificate which is paralegal studies mm -hmm. national diploma in paralegal studies then i further to bs in international relations so it has been a long time struggle without music music was never in my picture wow so that faithful day i just found myself vibing and today i'm here I got, signed, I got signed into a record label in Texas and from there I started making music. That's good. I started making music and, and I'm about, I don't even know what to do. Like it's, it's, it's emotional. It's, it's overwhelming. Yeah. Like many people are looking for this opportunity. opportunity. Like mm -hmm. they've been in this industry for like five years, six years mm -hmm. or it just came at a platter of gold. I don't see it difficult to write. I'm not someone that do freestyle. But if okay. I say I want to write, if I come down to write, I 
write more. Actually, this song I dropped first was actually a love song. What's the title? Super. All right. Like a girl that broke my heart way back in university, and oh. I was trying to be loyal. Okay, let me still do my own. Try. But at the end, everything was just hey. calm. So it hmm. gave me the emotions to write this song so far, like that verse. She just they do, they do. She call me, oh, the cool. The hmm. love I get for you, they make me the cool love. <laughs> so it was I, something that I just jumped into. And my brother was just like, okay, let me just spice it up with the saxophone. And mm -hmm. it went out well. And That's fine. By God's grace, I will drop my EP next year, January. And okay. All right. Okay, one more question oh, before early. It takes you. Um, the name Mickey Turner, quite a very interesting stage name. How did you come up with such a name? Mm, Mickey Turner. I'm always attracted. Mm. You always what? I feel I represent attraction. Okay. In the sense that whenever I see my dad, his name is Michael. Oh. And there's this drive that people get from him. Oh, Mr. Palmer, Mr. Palmer, Engineer Palmer, like he's always calling attention. Mm. So, and I was like, wow, Mickey, why not just, since he's the older version of me, mm -hmm. and why not just spice it something up to like Mickey, like give myself a nickname, and then he used to call me Mouse in the house. Oh. Yeah, I do play a lot going up. <laughs> so like Mickey and that attraction turns people on. Turns Mickey Turner, too, yeah, it? Mickey Turner. Oh. It's like a side of attraction. You can't see me and just pass me by. Hmm. That's why I just got the name. Okay. All right, early. Good. Now, um, as it comes to music, for you, um it's not been like that from the beginning okay. you you never envisaged you were going to um, do music and now that's that's really um some people might say it's a bummer but for me it's an eye-opener because most yeah. people who do music it's either they started from church, church or they've been doing it for a very long yeah. time and um, i admire your courage because you're not afraid to say when it started and um, you have evolved since that time now i want you to um tell me about your lyrics hmm. all right lyrics. the kind of music i know you write a lot yeah so yes um do you do all the music you do are you the one that has all the lyrics do you write them yourself mm. or do you have someone write them for you now um especially when you make music you have contributions yeah. um, like you said um in terms of motivation which will still come to your elder brother plays the sax and everything so mm. um that's why i'm so eager mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. know if it's only you that writes your music or you have people who write them too for you well i my brother do write but i'm this kind of person that i always want to see the best in myself so whenever i write i prefer give, collecting the melody I prefer him giving me the melody than using my own words to pour out my own expression. Uh, okay. Because music is spiritual. Mm, yeah. It is it's something I will say is if you want to be into music, it's, it's either you are in it in the both spiritual way, in the demonic part mm. or the Christianity part. Mm. So you choose your part. Mm. So many people say secular music is what we sing but i don't see secular music to be what we sing because in the sight of man and god secular music is secular gospel music is gospel mm -hmm. and that is the point that makes it more spiritual mm -hmm. because we should if we were to go back we were to go back to the bible mm -hmm. lucifer was the one that had the talent of singing yeah, yeah. so the music is more generated to the demonic world mm. It's possessive. It depends on how you control it. Mm. So if I start singing with lyrics that contains giving my soul or portray selling my soul, that's when I will see it as a, like a worldly secular music. Mm -hmm. And that's not my part. 
at the point I feel I can switch to gospel, I can switch to, as a full-time gospel, I can switch to secular. But I do more of love mm. and motivational songs. Yeah, okay. So writing lyrics for me is just using, either I use people around me to form up something or using my own experience, my little experience, just create it up to get something good. Many people say, oh, well, Malay is depressed because of his lyrics. He yeah. might not be depressed. depressed. Mm -hmm. He might be passing a message from somebody that stays around. Music is not only about you, it's about your environment. It's just about your environment in total. I can pass in a message of you. You may tell me, ah, oh, bro, I don't see things for this life. You just pass your message to me and you pass your own. Then I use it as a love story to pass a message. Mm -hmm. Not basically me. That's why you see some people, they will shoot a music video, but they are the ones singing, but they have characters playing the roles. It means it's not their storyline. Mm. It's always clear. So people just neglect this music video of a thing and lyrics. All of them just goes in hand. It's spiritual. All right. Okay. Don't just say you want to write lyrics. It just comes like it's another word on its own. All right. I don't know how other people see, but for me, it's another word. Nice one. All right. Quickly, um, we're going to go personal with you um, before Queen it takes you. Um, fun stuff. Give us um, your day-to-day -day activities, your routine. Now I know um, the song um, by Two Face. I wake up in the morning, then I brush up my teeth. Say I take a prayer. You know how it is. Now I want to know. I and Queen want to know your activities, your daily activities. When you wake up in the morning, what does um, Mickey Turner do? Um, do you pray? Do you I sing? I pray. I pray for grace. So, because when I pray, I no one see the day. That's my first motivation every morning. Then. I do my normal basic stuff like basically I don't even really do music every day. Mm. To be honest, I don't do music every day. I do more of dancing. Oh wow. I do more of dancing because music is my passion, music is my field. Where you see my basic activities, man, it's out of music. I prefer research. My, I might be on my phone daily. You may think I'm writing music or something, but I'm making research. What kind of research? Anything. Medical research, everything. Just versatile. Okay. Just trying to be versatile. Just trying to acquire different knowledge every day. Mm -hmm. Not just holding to what you have. Because anything can crash at any time. In today's world, entertainment is like all. Let's go back, throw back to the days. Entertainment was like something that is not so important. Everybody was go to school, acquire a job, acquire. But now it's difficult to get a job in the country. Everybody's running mm -hmm. to entertainment. One day, entertainment will crash down too, and it might be maybe AI that is coming up. So you never can tell. You just need to improve your knowledge. Okay. Don't All right. Um, what before? I, two more questions before we take a musical break. Now, the first question is this. What would you say is your kind of music? You said love songs, mm -hmm. but I want to know if it's jazz, if it's R&B, you know. Where would Afro you... Um, genre of music. Yes. Afro-pop. Afro -pop. Okay. Why? Why, why Afro-pop? Yeah. Why would you say it's Afro... Love song, Afro-pop? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm. Rema, Rema does Afro-pop. I thought it was like so. R&B. Yeah. No, it, it it's involves... It's always mixed. Okay. We need to bring back Africa. We need to do what? We need to bring back Africa. Africa. Yeah. Mm. You know, when Chris Brown, Jay Z, they want to sing, they represent their country. Okay. Like, they stand the place for the United States. Like, there's always this. Um, information they are passing that this is my country. Mm -hmm. I don't even understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Afro pop is a kind of African gen, like it's talked, like you said, and it's something that can never die. It's something that can never die. Back then, in like Jackson days. It's something that can never fade. You can you can come up with your like child poppy style and his own pattern. 
he created his own kind of music. Portable created his own kind of music. Mm -hmm. But those are something that might likely drop. But if they put more work, definitely they won't go down. But it's like I'll say it's under probabilities. What well, probability that from the time from the time of Michael Jackson, name it two face, P square, till now. Let's forget about this thing we are saying Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Z. Mm -hmm. We as the new artists, we go back there to get some inspiration to write our own songs. We can't change that fact, we can't deny that fact. There's still motivation we get from there. Like the first song I wrote, Diana, I got that motivation from this kind of P square pattern. Mm. So you must go back to your lineage. You must go back. That's why you see, you see, um, American artists want to feature Nigeria not because they want to feature Nigeria. A typical American artist will never feature a Nigerian man. But if you trace it, those ones featuring, it is still that is is their their lineage. Hmm. If you trace it down, they're still from Africa. They also have some kind of connection. Yes, their roots. Their roots is from Africa. You can't run from home. Okay. All right, so one more question before we take this break. Um, which of these artists would you say um, gives you inspiration? Coming up as an artist, the artist that gave me inspiration, then, then, I won't lie to you, it was Peace Square. I won't lie. Okay. Because so you like to dance, or what? I love to dance, not just because I love to dance. Mm -hmm. I was a dancer, my brother was a dancer, I was into music. Then I saw ourselves going into that space, like taking over from where they started, from where they stopped. Mm -hmm. So they have been my motivation, just, it's just that you can't just, you can't just do what they do. Mm -hmm. Who is yeah, greater yeah. than you is greater than you. I wish, sometimes I wish that some songs I see online, I'll be like, oh, I wish I was the one that wrote this song. Like this emotions that will touch you, like God, why not me? These lyrics, why not me? Okay. So this is, it's complex. You cannot say you have someone that is motivating because every day there are people you see that will push you out. That will push you out. Mm. Try to make you be yes, the best version of yourself. Yes. Understand what you're saying. Right. Can't just focus on one person. Okay, well, I'll still come back to that. So there's something you said. I'll still come back and ask you. So Miki, tell us about Tsukpa. First of all, I love the concept, the location you used. Tell us about it, and tell us why you, came, how you came up with the word Tsukpa. Is it Yoruba or what? Uh, is it uh, just your slang? Uh, how? We don't. Is it in the dictionary? Tsukpa means what Tupa now? Tupa is my slang. Okay, so tell us about the, the, the music video. Tupa is like, let me just say, Tupa is like, let's come together. Okay. Come together, Tupa. All right, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you said something earlier, you said it was um, because of your ex-girlfriend. Mm, yeah, it was because of my ex-girlfriend. Women. Wait, see, or Ali, not the use here, here, that one. <laughs> It's, it's touching me. 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 You must surely script it out. Maybe you growing up, you, you met war, your family separated, mm. your dad, all those kind of things. You just, okay, let me just create them. What if the movie sells? Mm. You never can tell. Or but what if your, your story passes message to people? Okay. But what the message is passing that, even with the heartbreak, doesn't mean you should be a playboy. Oh, okay. Yeah. The fact that you have been heartbroken doesn't mean you can't give other people chances. Hmm. There's still chance for love. All right. Okay. All right. Now he says 
um, that um, music is um, emotions and that when you have emotions you're able to process music properly he also says that even if you've had your heart broken and mickey turner says it doesn't mean as a man you should be a playboy now my answer to that is nobody could tell me what i could do if they break my heart anyhow way i like i could do all right um yes before we go back to questioning him we're going to tell you on the show that um galaxy tv is on the go queen mm -hmm. um, yes we have galaxy on um google play store yes. and apple play store as well so please go there and download the app all right and then start um following us and watching us even on facebook we go live on facebook and on x at galaxy television galaxy tv so when you go um you view us and then you post your comments you like and of course you share and then if you are content with viewing and watching i am queen diva bring on the best of the best guests every day that's a show of um, that's the way you should go to make sure that you view us on the go now i'm going to ask this question you're assigned to record label right um yeah. first i want you to give us the name of um, the record label and um, we know we have we've had situations in the past especially this pending one of Mobad, all right? I and Queen have been very different about it. We talk about it most times, and it's a reoccurring story. Now, um, we want to know the name of your record label, and um, we want to know if you are being treated well um, in this record label. What, what are the benefits, um, per se, of being under this record label, and how have you thrived? Okay. Um Basically, the name of my the record label is Big A's Entertainment. Big A's Entertainment. It's a Texas-based record label. We found out record label based in Texas. And we are just two artists under the record label, next to Paige and I. So, in the aspect of how I'm being treated in my record label, I don't think I have any problem with record label it's just you in person before you go into something there's what they call agreements of contracts it's called offer and acceptance those are yeah. the basic components of a contract you need to read before you ask you cannot just tell me what's up i want to buy i want to sell your phone and i said okay give me, give me. i don't know if you stole the phone and the receipts at least it proved that okay this phone is yes. yours yes so you going into a record label you saying um we have a presence um situation we're trying to handle it's not everybody yes mobad was on privilege he fell into that and um, we never knew we can't judge we don't know who killed them yeah you might, you might be threatened with some you know, everybody had fights you work places you can't tell me that your boss have never shouted at you or your boss have never thrown insult at you but it's how you handle it that doesn't mean your boss that will kill you let's not judge i don't say i'm not i'm not trying to be on anybody's path here but let's not judge because the dead cannot speak for itself okay. yes he spoke of anything happened to me let's hold what you just need to turn it down. Okay, other people coming out from record label, you want to say, um, what do you have to say about Don Jazz that I'll be signing? Hmm. How many people have come out that he has been beating them? Nah. What do you want to say about Olam that signed 20 artists? What do you want to say? Yes, we know that Naramali lived this um, Peckham lifestyle, a gangster lifestyle. So maybe that's how they treat artists. You fuck up, they treat your fuck up doesn't mean he will have these intentions of bringing his own investments down. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. You cannot just bring down your investments. You can't heal at your child if he doesn't do well in school. doesn't mean you should kill him. So the pointing fingers on him, I want to say it's just false accusation because nobody has any proof. Up to date. All right. Okay. So you say your your record label, um, for now, um, they treat you well, yeah. and um, they make sure 
that um, right now you do not have any issues and um, and so far you are enjoying being under them. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. See, this level of the thing needs to be patient. You cannot just join the label and today, tomorrow, boom, 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 be a superstar. It doesn't work that way. I got to a stage, I got frustrated. Ah! Actually, I, I, this super video took a long while, not because I could not promote it, but because of circumstances behind it. Mm -hmm. And a normal man will see like, how far a record label is not doing anything. But me inside, I know what he's facing. Like, I know the challenges he's facing. Like, he tells me what he's facing. Okay, this is my issue here, this is my issue here. Let's postpone this. So I cannot follow your own word that's telling me how far you join that record label. You never drop your song since that time. You join that record label. You understand that kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to be patient in doing some things. And as an upcoming artist, being under a label really helps. To be honest, you can, it's not compulsory to sign a forever contract. You can sign a stake deal. Like, okay, for this period of time, I'll be under you. When I come out to the limelight, I'll be out, but you will still have your realities. It's fine. That's, many artists did it. Well, I'm doing it for many artists. That's why it's not holding them like a toy, like you stay and you do this. They have contracts, years of contracts. Okay, I'm going to work with you for how many years? How many years? It depends on your contract. You cannot just, we never knew the contract is signed with Naramali. There might be an inner mouth contract. If you sign Mr. Make I come, how far you want to be an artist? Okay, but behind you're an arm robber. But you have agreed to that contract. The first contract that people saw. So definitely everybody will say yes, it's a record label, but they don't know the inner game he has been playing between within. Mm. So we don't have to just prognose the people. It's this social media lifestyle. If you enter into it, mm. they will use you play ball. Alright, okay, thank you very much. Alright, so now being a music artist is one thing. Being a songwriter is one thing, but how what are your plans in staying relevant? Let me tell you. Because uh, Whiskey, Runner Boy, they've been relevant for years. You being under a record label is another thing. But what are your plans yourself for you to be relevant and to help also your record label? Because if you're not producing good music, music that Nigerians want to hear, is there's one thing of producing music and another one. Oh, yes. Pre producing music that people want to hear and would like. No. So what are your plans? Okay. I love that question. I love challenging people. Mm. My plan is still relevant. This, this thing is, is a simple question that comes with simple answer. Okay. Hard work. Don't give up. Give people what they want to hear. And always interact to everybody's feelings. You dropping a song that every... See, you cannot tell me that nobody has gone through heartbreak one way or the other you can't tell me nobody has gone through heartbreak or you can't tell me nobody has gone through suffering now you're relating your music to me tell me see it might not hit the billboard but there are some songs that doesn't hit the billboard but people keep listening to them it can't feed mm -hmm. it can't just feed that's the standard you're supposed to keep and there's a point you get to in this there's a point you get to in this music industry i believe you leave it for the young ones you bring up people to keep the image mm. because you bringing up people you're already a legend you're already a legend that can never fall again mm. he said Olamide, check Olamide, Olamide cannot fall now is it when he has raised 20 artists is it um Don Jazzy they can't fall is it David o? David might not have a lot of artists, but check the people around him that he has helped. You can't just fall like that. Because of your hard work, what you, what you give to the people is valuable. You just put in a valuable piece for people to appreciate. That's all. And don't give up. Don't stop. Don't relent on your work. Just keep pushing. It's, it's, there's nothing that is easy. There is nothing that is easy. 
down to robbery, anything. There's nothing that is easy. Okay. So this uh, music video, Tupac, when did you release this song? That was um, last month. Oh, so it's new? Yeah. Oh, okay. So are you planning on um, working with any artist in Nigeria? Is that something you're working on right now? For now. Personally, you're working on yourself. There is what they call you finding somebody when you don't have something to give. Hmm. If I go around artists, it will look as if I'm begging for them to raise me up. But if I build myself, you will need my services, definitely. To stay relevant in the industry, the older artists need the younger ones. So if I don't work, I'm not going to be relevant. Mm, that's right. I'm not going to be relevant. Okay. Arali? Yes. Um, from your question, um, I'd also want to ask like a sub-question. If you could, um, in terms of music, you have people you love. You've said um, P-Square. All right. And um, in your video to Bar, it's safe to say you do look like one of the duo. You look like um, Peter. Um, yes, that's that's his style, and that's the way he cuts his hair, and um, that's the way he likes to be on the movie set. Of course, he also dances very well. Now, aside P Square, um, your genre of music is Afro pop, but um, I also understand that you do a little bit of um, R and B and so. So, um, aside P Square, what artist in Nigeria at the moment would you love to open a show for, or would you love to collaborate with? I know you are working on yourself. Yes, there's so many artists there. But right now, they come to you and say, okay, one of the big artists comes to you and says, I want you to do this for me. This is my show. I want you to open um, the show for me. Which artist do you think um, you'll be open to doing Omale. that for? Omale. Omale. Why Omale? Omale. Omale. <laughs> Omali is possessed. <laughs> so that, does that mean you're possessed? Omali is possessed in music. Me working with Omali will bring out the best in you. It's not just because I want to work with him. You work with someone that will bring out your best. True. Okay. All right. So that means all right, all, all, all Omali, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so all right. Omale, so work on yourself fast, fast, so that you can be able to feature Omali in your next song, right? So, all right, and I hope I wish you everything good life has to offer. So what do you have to say to people watching you right here? Um, you guys are my hope. Your love is my strength. And your words are my courage. So keep believing and... I won't let my fans down. Definitely, I won't let my fans down. I promise. Nice words. Why? Nice words from Mickey Turner.